What's up everyone, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Xanadu Next for the PC. Entered the back alley ruins last time, killed a bunch of enemies that are there, got a few levels. Found one of the crowns, and then I got immediately attacked by this freaking jerk-off that beat the shit out of me. Almost killed me and took the crown. Uh, they brought me back to the spirit sanctum that I guess to be like, the, I keep wanting to call it the church. It's not a church. And they're able to do this, like, magical procedure thing that was able to bind me to a guardian to keep me from dying. And because of that, I'm able to actually switch guardians. So if I actually find another one, I can just switch it out for, like, another one that does whatever that one does. Whew, so that's all taken care of. I went back in, got, like, another two levels. Got a couple new things. I got that because by the time I got enough money to get, like, some of this other stuff that was, like... Already to that. Ooh, gotta be safe. Okay, wait, how long have we been playing for? Like half an hour? Meh. I talked to whoever and they said the uh the the uh, ruins were open again. It's like time just stops, capturing the most powerful lifelike expression. Looks so real that you can awaken at any moment. Relics of Xanadu like this will fetch a pretty price. I've had some way to take it back with me anyway. Sigh. Who goes there? Whoops. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, sorry. Getting sleepy. Don't surprise me like that. Wait, aren't you... A knight? My, my, aren't you splendid looking? My name is Agnes. I'm a treasure specialist. What's with that look? Not everyone has the luxury of being as honorable or noble as you, you know. The world just ain't a fair place after all. So, bring such a splendid knight like yourself to a place like this. Castle Strange Rock? Begin with the grand tales. You'll need more than just a sword to reach that place. After all, just getting through these ruins is hard enough even for someone of my talent. Like, right now, there's this troublesome door that can't be opened without a key. The door with the giant round hole? Just how do you open the darn thing? I suspect that you need to place something there, but what? The door with the giant round hole? Just how do you open the darn thing? Think of it, I did find a circular stone in a chest earlier. Uh, could you try that, possibly? I mean, hey, I got this thing that looks like it perfectly fits into this other thing. Huh, I wonder where it goes. At the, the fucking place you just said it goes? Hey, mind stepping aside for a moment? Hmm, my intuition is correct then. Haha, -ha. just as I suspected. This works, <coughs> the disc works just like a key. There are locked doors strewn about this place that block off new areas. The ruins of this island are tricky, are rather, <laughs> are rather tricky, aren't they? Even the monsters here can't be underestimated. I have to wonder if I should go back to town. Look, if you want to go on ahead, then you're certainly more than welcome to. I'm just saying I shouldn't go right now. That's what my intuition is telling me anyways. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and not go that way either. 
saying there's horrible super bad things this way but you can go on ahead I'm sure you'll be fine Ow. Fucking mean. Oh. Also got like a lot of these things to drop. Yeah, it's like the enemies in the um, back alley ruins kept dropping like magic potions and bucklers. Ow. Am I even close? Oh God. Wait, 134? Wait, I can go over it? Okay, I guess. And the plunder ability uh, drastically increases the gold obtained from enemies, so I went ahead and I put that on. That also helps with like the money's drops and stuff. Okay, I guess. I didn't realize I got the, th got the thing. Acquire the guarding cards for Sarian. Or Sorcerian. I'm gonna say Sorcerian, maybe. Guardian improves your magic power. By bearing it within you, the power of all forms of magic increases. Okie dokie. has approved the level. Um, okay. Okay, I push it off from there. I guess you get 4 XP. Memoirs Reflection Obtained. 
Let's see, how do I... Nope. Nope. Okay, the B button. What is this? A guardian card demon catch, really? Another one? Aww. About the card, the guardian demon cats. The guardian allows you to use skills more often. The maximum SP of each skill is increased while bearing this. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I don't know which one I want more now. The one that lets, that one that makes, you know, skills and magic more like potent or, you know, the one that lets me use them more often. Ooh. Beware, monsters beyond this point. It's like monsters everywhere already. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't grab this? Yes, yeah, Rosarium is right there. Okay, so it's refilled with money? I guess. Oh, no. Am I even close? Yeah, like 96 and a half. So does it go per kill or per hit? Per hit, okay. It's going up 0.3% per hit. tablets and things like that, bring them to her and she'll do stuff. Yeah, that's what I read already. Okay, translating. Okay, I'll just come back to that. Okay, I got enough stuff to get a level. What other stuff can I get if I do my things right? I need two strength. Okay, so I can use the mace. Two reflex. Get a shield. Go from five to ten. Two reflex and three mind. I mean, two reflex, three constitution. I'm sorry. Leather armor. That's like a double thing. One reflex. One intelligence. Three mind. 
Uh, hmm. I'm really looking at this. So I need one more reflex and three constitution. That's five points right there. Three and two, so I can get double the armor class from our armor and shield. If I'm looking at the mace, I need two shots. I'll be one point short from doing that. If I get the leather armor and the mace, okay. So let me just go ahead and just do that. Let me do. Leather armor and mace. Like if I'd gotten one more point, you know, I could have done all three. Wait, might not be. But appear you have found a guardian card. So I'll keep that card here. Please feel free to visit the sanctum anytime you come across other cards. If you wish to change guardians, simply let me know. Gave the guardian card to Lise. Okay. I need two for that. That's eight, eight, nine, twelve, nine, nine, twelve, nine. So if I had one more reflex, then I could get the shield. I could do like one intelligence, one reflex. You know, one strength, like one strength, one intelligence, one reflex, and then three mind. And I could do the next helmet. Guess I could just do that with the next level. That's fine, I guess. Greater damage attacking from behind. Okay, with insight. View enemy stats. <laughs> well, that's all six. Actually, I did want to switch the Guardian thing. I want to see something. There was Demon Cats that let me use skills more often, but they had the Sorcerian uh, that made my skills more powerful. About the Guardian Ceremony. It's possible to swap Guardians of the Spirit Sanctum. Simply click on the Guardian you wish to use from the Guardian list on the lower left side of the screen. There's no limited amount of times you can swap guardians. Okay. A guardian spirit with elegant female curves, once named the Will of the Wind, blowing through trees and across lakes. Its song envelops a person in a healing aria. It is a teasing spirit as well and enjoys tricking travelers. Demon cat. God, it's so adorable. A lustrous black cat with a sable fur color. Wait, with a sable fur the color of a cloudless night. Originally known as a familiar for witches, this elusive spirit can occasionally be found basking in the moonlight. Sorcerian, or a sorcerer, sorcerian, whatever. The spirit of a great sorcerer, so enthralled with his pursuit of alchemy that his own death went past his notice. Okay. Worshipped as the god of knowledge and science, even now, this guardian is not from this region. So that lets me use it more often, but that makes it more powerful. And wouldn't it technically balance out? I'll just do that.
Oh, let me see you right there. Like almost 12%. Okay, so I'm getting less XP the higher my level. That's kind of crap. I mean, I, I guess I am getting stronger, but... I... So I don't... Meh. Jake. And of course, and ooh, ah, shit, I mean to do that. quite well, didn't you? Just what I expect from a knight. Hmm. Alright, it's been decided. From now on, you're going to be my partner. With your sword and my keen intuition, it will be the ultimate hunting team. 
What is it? Why such a distraught look? The chauffeur's knight should never present such a face to a lady. Anyway, here's how we'll handle things. You'll be in charge of the monster disposal, and then I'll come along after that. Why, it's just a perfect teamwork, no? Counting you, partner. Card spellbook. Fire level one. If I'd known this fucking boss was right here. Didn't happen to I yeah, they had a nice spell for sale. God damn it, I could have fucking I don't wonder why would such a monster monster be waiting in ambush? Hmm. I knew my intuition was right on the money. Okay. Alright, the eternal maze. I got a little bit of time. I'm gonna <coughs> Oh. Why are you here? Oh hey, have I got the fine for you? Would you be interested in buying this super useful knife I discovered in the ruins? Since we're partners and all, I'm even willing to offer a special discount. Doesn't that sound great? I guess. Would you be interested in buying this super useful knife I discovered in the ruins? I'll give you the bone carving knife for a hundred G's. I guess. I got like a thousand, so I guess that's good. About the bone carving knife. When you use the bone carving knife, you can carve keys out of bones. Ooh. Oh, I can make my own now. Do I have bone? Yes, I do. Oh, I got like four bones. Oh, that's nice. I don't even have to go to what's his face. Do you have more? Oh, I could just buy bones from her. That's awesome. It's like 92%. Skill Gert. pretty cool so all I really gotta do is just like farm bones and I can just make my own keys. I ain't gotta go to what's his face anymore. Read nope. Read this. Twenty third day of the Herdsman Moon, year twelve ten. Decided to attempt keeping a personal record starting today. I have no intention of sharing these private thoughts with others, but I've been advised that this activity may provide a much needed outlet, and after recent introspection I will give it a try. Of course, I'm not fastidious nor diligent like my sister, so I do not know how long this may last. I know only that my thoughts and feelings must be expressed, and herein I shall express them fierce express them freely, I'm sorry. My day began with practice in the black arts, followed by fencing at midday and ended with lessons and etiquette during the evening hours. Day in and day out, this strict regimen remains unaltered, and I find my sanity grown thin by its relentless march. I know, I know, I mustn't dwell. Tis not my intent to mire these pages with in such ill humor. I was cautioned on this outcome and warned to avoid such behavior. I must make a point to record those positive events of my day as well. And if I were to identify which such events those might be, only the praising of my sister comes to mind, for her joy is my joy. My sister and I are always together, <clears throat> and often feels as if the bond between us could overcome any hardship, no matter, no matter the severity. Of course, I can never speak those words to her directly, and it's rather embarrassing sentiment. That's it? Okay. Alrighty then, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. Um, if anything, I'll probably just hurry up and try to hit that last level just to get it. Because if I do my stats right, I should be able to get a new shield. I don't know about weapons or... Actually, I don't think I can get a new weapon. I don't think I even have the money to get a new weapon. It's all kind of, there's all kinds of junk, junk in the room. You probably get yourself quite a collection of weapons and armor during your travels. If you do wind up with more than you need, feel free to bring them here. I'll gladly take them off your hands. 
Might as well get some money for him, right? A knight like you is bound to need a lot of supplies if you'll be surviving out there. Just be sure to think it through before you close the deal, because all transactions are final here. You sell it to me, you'll never see it again. That's 13, that's 10. Well, I have to have 10 reflex anyway. I can do 9 intelligence, 2 reflex. Damn, I could jump my. I could do my armor again if I really wanted to. I could do 1 intelligence, 2 reflex, 2 constitution, 2 mind. No, I can't. That's 7 points. God damn it. That's 7. Yeah, so I could do that to 10. That's got to be 10 anyway. I could do 2 to strength. No. Okay. I'm going to figure something out. Alrighty. Ooh, I actually managed to get this at about half an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and finish out my next level. And I'll figure out what equipment I'm going to do while I do that. And then I'll meet you back in the end of the, whatchamacallit, ruins. And then start the Eternal Maze. So until then, this is Save Night on Let's Play Xanadu Next. Later, guys.